What's up everybody? I'm Michael Chris, three years running top seller at Shine On. Before we get started in today's video, I just wanted to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. If you like this kind of content, I want you to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope you enjoy the video. Create your first five designs, five to 10 designs. This can be super, super easy. So easy, I'm going to demonstrate it for you here. So you can hire a designer, right? You can do this in the Shine On Graphic Design group. Just search in Facebook for Shine On Graphic Design. You can also go to Upwork, you can go to Fiverr, or you can do it yourself using Photoshop or Canva. I like Canva because Canva is a free tool, super easy to use. All you do is go to create design, do custom size. It needs to be a square. Um, I'm doing 2000 by 2000 pixels. When you go into one of your products here, if you click create product, it'll tell you how big the artwork needs to be right here. You can see this needs to be a thousand by a thousand pixels minimum, but it needs to be square. That's the important part here. So then after I figure that out, I will come in here and I will just start playing around. So let's make, I like these kind of dark backgrounds. They're kind of working right now. So when it comes to what color you should make your background, I like to zig when everybody else zags. It's kind of what I say. So if I see a bunch of people using light colored backgrounds, then I'll try dark ones. If I see a bunch of people using dark backgrounds, I'll go with light ones. The idea is you just kind of want to do something a little different than what everybody else is doing. I'm just going to grab Grab kind of that right there. Got kind of a purple going on. Do some text, add a heading to my daughter. I think probably what I'm gonna do, something like that. And then, so I'll do something like this to my daughter. Now I could change up the fonts, but when I first get started on this, I always like to kind of keep it simple. I like to kind of block in where I want everything to be. And then I, then I get kind of fun with it. So to my daughter. Also, when you're doing your phrases, one thing I guess I forgot to mention here, let me jump back over to my board, is you always want to make sure you're using the greeting card format. So you want it to be to and then from on the phrases. And if you'll notice, that's kind of what I'm starting to build here in Canva. I got to my daughter. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna have kind of a salutation type part. So let's just do this, drag that down. Now I need a phrase to put here. Now I'm not gonna spend a ton of time doing my, my normal phrase research. I'm just gonna grab one real quick. So I've already got some stuff up here. Let's just find one. Mother and daughter. It's a special bond that spans the years through the laughter, worry, smiles and tears. A sense of trust that can't be broken. A depth of love sometimes unspoken. A lifelong friendship built on sharing hugs and kisses, warmth and caring, mother and daughter, their hearts is one, a link that can never be undone. I like this one, it's a little bit long. I'm gonna try to play with it. The other thing that's uh, gonna need to be adjusted on this one is it's written kind of in the third person. Notice how it's like mother and daughter instead of to my daughter. So I'm gonna have to alter that just a little bit here. Let me see what I can do. Bear with me here, suck guys. Kirsta, who is a, a big six figure seller with shine on, is thrown in a tip here. He says, you can do two hour. Um, if you want to target families like love mom and dad. So for example, to our daughter is what he's saying, love mom and dad. So it's a great idea. Okay, let's do this. All right, so I've got my phrase now. I'm gonna jump back over to Canva and this is gonna be a little bit messy, but we'll get through it guys. Okay, so here's my phrase, resizing this thing. Okay, well, we're gonna mess with this. So to my daughter, just hang on, we'll play with this. I'm gonna put our relationship is a special bond that spans through the years through laughter worry, smiles, and tears. Notice it rhymes and I kind of want to accentuate that in the phrase. So I'm going to kind of be specific with how I kind of lay out the actual word. Let me see if I can make this just a hair bigger. I'll make, make this even a little larger here as we go. But a relationship is a special bond that spans the years through laughter, worry, smiles, and tears. A sense of trust that can't be broken. A depth of love, sometimes unspoken. A lifelong friendship built on sharing, hugs, and kisses, warmth, and sharing, hugs, and kisses, warmth, and caring. Mother and daughter, our hearts in one, a link that cannot be undone. Okay, this feels awfully big to me, like and quite wordy, but it actually looks like it's kind of gonna fit. I wonder what would happen if we just got rid of this. Our relationship is a special bond that spans the years through laughter, worry, smiles, and tears, a lifelong friendship built on sharing, hugs and kisses, warmth and caring, mother and daughter, our hearts is one, a link that can never be undone. How about that? You like that? I kind of like removing that kind of chunk in the middle because it, it's not so wordy anymore. Also, it, that part I removed didn't quite have the same kind of emotional impact as the rest of this. So now we're just going to put something 
simple. I'll just put, you know, for let's see, love your mom, center that up. And guys, when you actually make one of these, you can spend time making, like choosing some different fonts and things like that. I'm just, I'm trying to illustrate how this would work. And also this is actually not do too bad using all of Canva's default kind of stuff. I'm not kidding. This this could probably get some sales. Kirsta would back me up on this. He, uh, uh, I know he's a fan of Canva and it really doesn't take much. It's, it's the phrase that pays. It's the phrase that pays. Okay, let's just real quickly, I want to add some like kind of floral decal element stuff in here. Just something simple, kind of make it look nice and pretty. Uh, maybe something like right there, maybe. Over here, flip. I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm not a super big fan of this. I mean, the 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 item will fall nicely here in the center, I think, kind of, and be like hugged by the ornaments. But uh, I don't know, man. Canva's all you need. For me, the text is small though. Yeah, it is. That's actually a really good point. I need to blow that up, don't I? Curse brings up a good point too, because this is definitely the crap you got to worry about when you're actually running out. Like if you're paying money, every little kind of detail here needs some attention. You really need to make sure this is going to look great. Even this probably could use some work and like the formatting and maybe even the, the font. Like it might be better to go with the font where I can do all caps or something like that. But at any rate, it is what it is. Okay. I think this is halfway decent. Those the line up here. Solid, good, and symmetrical. What's up, everybody? Michael Christ here. I want to thank you so much for checking out today's video. Before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out all all the links in the description below, particularly the link to register on shineon.com and also the link to our Facebook group where we are constantly sharing marketing tips and tricks to help you take your e-commerce game to the next level. So once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next one.